Hey guys, Martin here for Mattress Clarity. If you're trying to decide between the Dream Cloud and Dream Cloud Premier mattresses, you've come to the right video. We're gonna talk about their similarities, their differences, and help you choose one over the other. Let's get started. First off, you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclarity.com. There you're going to find some other reviews on mattresses, bedding, and pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like these two. You'll also find some great coupons in the YouTube description below. So I'll start off by talking about the similarities between these two mattresses. And first off, they come from the same mattress company, the Dream Cloud and the Dream Cloud Premier, so same sleep trial, same warranty, same customer service terms. They are both hybrid mattresses. They are both a good match for back sleepers. They are both very breathable mattresses. And last but not least, they featured the same cashmere cover. So now let's talk about the differences between these two mattresses. First off, speaking of construction, the Dream Cloud Premier does have more layers right on top than the Dream Cloud mattress. Now also speaking of feel, with the Dream Cloud Premier, more of that kind of soft pillow top feel right on top, different than more of the kind of bouncy hybrid feel you get with the Dream Cloud mattress. Speaking of firmness, the Dream Cloud Premier is going to be softer than the Dream Cloud mattress. But speaking of price, the Dream Cloud is going to cost less than the Dream Cloud Premier. So now let's take a look at the construction of both these mattresses, starting off on top and then working our way down. First off, speaking of the cover, very similar between these two mattresses. Both feature a cashmere blend cover, very soft, very breathable as well. Moving down to the comfort layers on the Dream Cloud mattress, on top you're gonna have a layer of gel memory foam that's gonna be very soft and pressure leaving as well. It's also gonna help with cooling because of that gel infusion. Below that, you're gonna have a transition layer. Moving over to the Dream Cloud Premier mattress, on top a little bit more of that kind of plush pillow top look and feel. Also up there, you're gonna have some memory foam, some soft comfort foam, another layer of memory foam beneath that. All creates kind of that Euro top experience right on top of the mattress. Moving down to support layers with both these mattresses, with the Dream Cloud and Dream Cloud Premier individually wrapped coils. They're both gonna rest on a thin layer of base foam. So, what does all this mean? Well, first off, speaking of durability, I probably give the slight advantage to the Dream Cloud Premier mattress. It has more layers and more luxury construction, should last longer than the Dream Cloud. Also, in terms of the main construction difference here is how many layers you get right on top, so more of a plush overall design with the Dream Cloud Premier. Last but not least, speaking of cooling, probably going to be a tie with coils in both mattresses, a lot of room for airflow, breathable top layers, both should be good cooling mattresses. So now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I think the Dream Cloud was close to a seven and a half out of 10, firmer than average, and the Dream Cloud Premier was close to a six and a half out of 10, about medium in terms of firmness. You definitely get some more plushness on top of the Dream Cloud Premier. But speaking of feel, with the Dream Cloud mattress, more of a kind of bouncy hybrid feel overall. You also have some good response with the Dream Cloud Premier, but definitely plusher on top, a little bit more of that pillow top feel right on top of the mattress. So now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on both these mattresses. Starting off on the Dream Cloud on my back, very good balance of comfort and support, my hips sink in the right amount, good lumbar support, and good overall supports. However, I'm a larger person. If you're a lighter person, you might feel this is too firm for you. Moving to my side though, also a firmer than average mattress, not the best match for me as a side sleeper, some serious pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Moving to my stomach is a firmer than average mattress, good support under my hips, I'm not bowing in and I'm not getting out of alignment. Moving over to the Dream Cloud Premier mattress on my back, also a good match for me, another great balance of comfort and support, but a little softer, a little plusher as well. Because of that, also a better match for side sleeping, better pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. Moving to my stomach though, it's not as firm as the Dream Cloud, so my hips are bowing in and I'm getting out of alignment. So here at Mattress Clarity, we like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my back, side, and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now let's pull up the side sleeping results for both these mattresses. On the left, the Dream Cloud mattress, and on the right, the Dream Cloud Premier. If you sleep with a partner, there's two things you do want to think about. That's motion transfer and edge support. Now motion transfer means you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side. Are you going to feel that motion or not? Now, edge support means if you're sitting or lying down at the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or more going to roll off and onto the floor? 
So first off, speaking of motion transfer, I would give the advantage to the Dream Cloud Premier mattress. Has some plusher layers right on top, absorbing more motion than the Dream Cloud. Speaking of edge support, neither have the best edge support. Definitely collapse under my weight when I'm sitting near the edge and lying down as well. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Which one of these mattresses should you get? In terms of who should get the Dream Cloud mattress, a better option, I think, for fans of firmer mattresses. Definitely firmer than the Dream Cloud Premier, so more supportive overall. If you like a firm mattress, take a look at the Dream Cloud. Also, because of that, it better match for stomach sleepers. Lying on your stomach, you should feel better support under your hips. You shouldn't bow in or get out of alignments. Last but not least, it is more affordable than the Dream Cloud Premier. So you want something more affordable overall, take a look at the Dream Cloud. Now, in terms of who should get the Dream Cloud Premier, I think a better option if you want something softer and plusher overall, you definitely get that with the Dream Cloud Premier. And because of that, it better match for side sleepers, better pressure relief on your shoulders and your hips. Last, if you want more of a luxurious mattress overall, something longer lasting, this is definitely a better option for you. So these are both bed in a box mattresses. They're going to come to your house in a cardboard box. How do you unbox them? It's easy to follow these instructions. First off, ask a friend for help. These boxes can be quite heavy. You don't want to hurt or strain yourself. So bring the box inside and into your bedroom. Open up the top of the box and take out your rolled up mattress. Place it on your frame or foundation and slowly carefully cut the layers of plastic. You don't want to damage your brand new mattress. Then give it about 24 to 40 hours to completely off gas and expand and you're good to go. So now I want to give you some additional information about both these mattresses. First off, they come with free shipping and returns, a 365 night sleep trial, a forever warranty. They offer other mattress models, accessories and financing as well. Now, if you do want to purchase the Dream Cloud or Dream Cloud Premier, head over to mattressclarity.com for the best coupons. At this point, you should know which mattress is right for you. But if you're still a little bit confused or want a personal recommendation, you can leave a comment below. Well, that's about it. If you're just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressclarity.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. So hit the like button and subscribe.